Now you say that this has always been something that, that you've had within you. It hasn't been something that you really had to learn. Mm -hmm. but, but it sounds like for a lot of guys out there, they're in this um, state of being, like the one that you just explained. How do you get out of that? Because it's really easy to say that we need communication yeah. and we need to do all these things. But how do you actually start implementing that? You start implementing that by doing it. Mm. You know, I could sit here and then decide, okay, I want to have 100 women. It's a choice that you make. The whole process is a choice. For you to be the loyal woman that you're going to be in your relationship is a choice. For me to say, okay, I'm going to be loyal to my woman, it's a choice. It's not something that's innate. So I had all these qualities, and I know they were there, but I was still having a good time. The only fact, the only difference is I was honest about it. So yeah, I'll treat you right. I'll do all the things you need me to do. I'm just not in a relationship with you. And we got to be honest about where we are because we all play this game. The game is called we're friends with benefits, we're just hooking up, yeah, we're kicking it, but what are the rules? What are the rules? So we're kicking it for six months, we're kicking it for a year? Really? After a year, we're still kicking it? What are we doing? We gotta have a time limit on everything that we're doing. And if you know that this is what we're doing, let's not make it into something it's not. So why am I getting you breakfast in bed if we're not dating? Get some coffee in the morning, <laughs> but it's time to go. <laughs> you got to be honest about where you are yeah. because imagine that we're just hooking up but I'm getting your breakfast in bed I'm saying all the right things I'm doing all the right things and I still don't expect you to have feelings of course you're gonna fall for it mm -hmm. of course you're gonna go well I don't know what we're doing your girlfriend starts asking so what's going on with you and Steve L well I don't know girl I mean he calling me nicknames and stuff no one calls me Jennifer it's like Jay <laughs> how you doing Jay <laughs> and I think we're getting somewhere but the fact is we're not because we haven't had a discussion about that so nothing's changed you literally have to get into it knowing exactly where you are exactly what you're doing and stick to that know the game and the rules that you're playing and if you're just kicking it you as a woman or as a guy you have to have your own time set in that to go okay after three months, if nothing's changed, then I'm out. But you can't keep kicking it forever. Mm. Can't keep being friends with benefits forever. Have you always been completely honest you in have your relationship? To be. You have to be. And hence I'm saying to guys all the time, mm. at least be honest about where you are. Because if you're honest, you never have to explain yourself. Mm. If you're honest, you never have to feel like, oh man, I totally messed up with that. If I say to you from the get-go, we're just kicking it. However long that's going to be is entirely up to you. You can never say to me, yeah, but... I saw you over there and you were kicking it. Well, I did say we're just kicking it. Mm. I never said we were exclusive. You gotta be honest about where you are. That's what it boils down to. Because you're going into this going, I know exactly what I'm getting into. Now, do we enter into the game hoping to change each other? Sometimes we do. And is that's that a mistake? That is a huge mistake. You don't know what kind of relationship I just got out of. Don't try to change me. Give me time to be. Let the decision be from me. Don't try and make my decisions for me. I would never try and do that for you. Now, you're an actor and a model. I mean, you've been in the business since you were 16, 16 yep. years old. What did people say when you told them you were going to write this book? It's going to be called <laughs> The Refined Player. You're yep. going to dabble in, in being an author. Yeah. Give people advice. Yeah, what was I the know. It was, like? It's so strange. You know, and of course, you do have the, cynic, the cynics, if you may, and you do have the people go, yeah, but what does a model know about writing? Like, you're supposed to be dumb, aren't you? Right. Um, here's what I say to those people. Modeling is what I do. It's not who I am. And that's the difference. So many of us have different talents, but we stick to just the one. We don't branch off. I, no, do I have the right, did I have the right to be an author? People may say no. Did, it, that, did I let that you be? You wrote a book. You have the right to be an author. Apparently. Apparently. I never had a dreams of being an author. Mm. For me, it was just, okay, so you guys really think I should write this? Okay, I'll do some research, see how different I really am to all these men and to see what women have to say for themselves. So the book is compiled with my lived experiences along with all these interviews. But again, it's not written one of those, it's just like, oh my gosh, it's just numbers. And it's, it's a straight, clean, straightforward read for you to go, okay, cool, here's an example of John. Here's an example of what Jennifer had to say. These are the views. Because these people didn't have to lie about where they are. They were just on a recorder. So they can really just be honest with you about how they really feel. Why do men get intimidated when a woman just rock up and say, no, I just want to have sex. Is that okay? Can we just leave the date and go home? A lot of guys get intimidated. Mm. At that point, it's kind of like, whoa, why is it so easy? It's kind of loose. Whoa, what's going on here? But men do it all the time. Mm. 
but we don't, we're not used to that. We're not used to having a woman just knowing what she wants. And for me, I say I love a woman who knows exactly what she wants because when she decides to be in a relationship with you, you'll never find another woman who's more loyal. She doesn't have to pretend to be someone she's not. Steve, I can think of a lot of men and women who need right. to read your book. Where <laughs> can we find it? The book is available at well, South Africa Exclusive Books and all fine bookstores. Um, it's also available on iBooks, Kindle, Amazon, Global, wherever you are, the book is available. Steve, thank you very much for coming in. No, thank you for, <laughs> I saw that. Thank you very much for coming. For I got coming. it. <laughs> ah, I, was, I was waiting to see if you were going to pick up on it. <laughs> ah. I like it. She's already right in there. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Coming was my pleasure. <laughs>